Hey, and welcome to this YouTube clip on la latitude and longitude. Let's get straight into it. Latitude and longitude are the imaginary lines that we put on the Earth to help us navigate about the Earth and find particular locations. We use our numbers and degree points to label the individual lines to help us line them up and find exactly where we're talking about. Let's look at how that works. First of all, you're going to need to know latitude. Latitude, the lines that run flat along the Earth just like this, between the North and the South Pole. There's a line right in the middle I'm sure you'll be aware of called the equator, which is exactly at zero degrees. Now, between zero degrees and the top of the Earth and the bottom of the Earth, we also insert other degree points. So as we move north, we start uh, with zero and we end up at 90 degrees. When you get to the top of the Earth, you're exactly 90 degrees north. The same thing applies when we move south. We start at zero degrees at the equator, and when we move right to the very bottom, we end up at zero over uh, 90 degrees south, and we have the degree points in between there. Now, one mistake that students make with lines of latitude and longitude is which one's which, and the best way to remember it is that latitude runs flat along the Earth, so it's therefore flatitude. Latitude is flatitude. Latitude is flatitude. Once you remember that latitude is flat, you'll then recall that longitude runs the other way. Let's get into longitude. Longitude, as I said, are the lines that run in this direction. Longitude lines are also referred to as meridians. They'll become important in just a second. In the same way we have a zero line for the lines of latitude, we also have a zero line for the lines of longitude. And this we call the prime meridian. There it is, exactly at zero degrees. Now, between um, the zero degree point and uh, the extreme east and the extreme west, we also put in um, degree points as well. So here we have uh, 10 degrees west, 20 degrees west, 30 degrees west. There's more degree lines, but it, I can't put them in because the Earth's surface curves away at that point. The same thing on this one, 10 degrees east, 20 degrees east, etc., etc. Now, it does extend right around to 180 degrees east. However, uh, the Earth's curvature um, moves away, and I can't label it on this one. So we'll go to this graph here. So a quick recap, and we'll develop some of these concepts a bit further. Here we have the prime meridian, 0 degrees longitude. Now, what I haven't explained properly is that the deg degrees of longitude max out at 180 in each direction, 180 east and 180 west in each direction. Let's look at uh, uh, latitude now. Uh, clearly, obviously, we start with the equator, which is at zero degrees. We know this. And we also max out a particular number, as we know, as we get to the top and the bottom of the Earth, and that's at 90 degrees, 90 degrees north, 90 degrees south. Easy. All right, let's test some of this knowledge. One more little tricky thing I want to show you is that they don't always put up uh, the letters. You have to figure out uh, which way, which hemisphere in based on which way the numbers are running. So here we have 23, 24, 25. Clearly, it's increasing as we move in a southerly direction. So this must be in the southern hemisphere. Let's have a look, look at this one. 107, 108, 109, 110. Clearly, it's increasing as we move in a easterly direction. So this must be in the eastern side. A couple of questions here I want you to answer. Pause the video. Give that a go. Okay, I'm going to assume that you pause that video. This is what you should have come up with. Obviously, this is the southern hemisphere. I pretty much hinted that. And this is the um, eastern side of the prime meridian. I, I made that pretty clear. Uh, I don't think you're going to find that very difficult. Let's move on. All right, so this is a thing for you to practice. Um, this is how we use latitude and longitude to locate places. So what you need to do in this one is you need to find these coordinates on this map, and then you need to figure out which letter it will do. So pause that and have a go, um, and then I'll do the first couple with you. Okay, so for your first one, we got 20 degrees south. So uh, here we go, we have the equator, and so we have 20 degrees south. This is the southern end, so it's going to be somewhere on this line here. Okay, cool. And then we have 20 degrees east, so here we have this, uh, the prime meridian here at zero, 20 degrees. So east is in this direction, 20 degrees. Okay, so let's line that up 20 degrees south, 20 degrees east. Bang, we have F. Let's try it in the next one. 20 degrees south again, boom. All right, so obviously we're going to be south of the equator, somewhere on this line again, and it's going to be 100 degrees east. So we come up to here, which side's east? Oh, that's the westerly side, that's the easterly side, 100 degrees, follow that down, that's A. Let's try one more really quickly. Question three, uh, 20 degrees north. So this time we're going north, so we come up to 20, and then we're going to have 40 degrees east. Which side's east? This side's east, 40, line that up, 20, 40. The answer is H. 
straightforward. Let's do one more just to make sure. Question four, 60 degrees south. So south, we're coming down here. Okay, it's going to be something along this line. I mean, it's a bit of a giveaway. There's only one thing on that line. And then we have um, 40 degrees west. Here we go. West is in this direction. So 20, 40. Bang. There we go. It's obviously D. All right, that's straightforward. Finish off the rest of those. There'll be another video explaining the more advanced elements of this, but if you're in junior high school, you don't need to worry about the more advanced elements yet. Uh, but seniors definitely will need to watch that clip. Please subscribe. If you liked it, thumb it up. If you hated it, thumb it down. And if you want to comment or say anything, please leave a comment.